What's going on guys? It's Jerome. I'm back with another Thread Beast unboxing. The shirt I'm wearing right now actually, I got this from Thread Beast, so I can't wait to see what's in this box. But before we open that bad boy up, I just want to remind you guys that I have a promo code with Thread Beast. If you're interested in getting a Thread Beast account of your own, you can click the link you see in the description box below and use my promo code Jeronmon50. That's going to give you $50 worth of free stuff in your first box. What kind of free stuff? Well, let's find out by opening this Thread Beast box. Do I even need a box cutter? I do need a box cutter. All right. Oh, wow. First item looks like really nice. Let's see what it is. Ooh, very nice. Oh, navy's my color, guys. Navy is my color. And you got a little bit of gold. This looks like a Letterman style jacket from Diamond Supply Co. with a sweet military style patch in metallic gold. This is really nice. Nothing on the back. Guys, this is nice. Let's open it up. What's it like inside? Is there a pocket inside? Of course there is. Of course there's a pocket right here. I always feel like a real grown up when I bring my wallet out from inside my jacket. I'm just like, yes, I have an ID. Now give me that drink. Diamond Supply Co. Letterman style jacket. This is really nice. This is already one of my favorite box. I only got one item so far. Let's see what else we got in here. It looks like we got a Oh, I don't know what to call this, but this is another long sleeve. I don't know why it's it's summer and spring already, but I'm always cold because I'm from Hawaii. So inside looks really nice. Inside you have a digi camo little thing. Let me open it up real quick. Oh, <laughs> it's not fully digi camo inside. It's only the top, but it's still pretty cool. This is from Huff. It's like a long sleeve, almost a denim style feel. Uh, shirt with a collar on it. This is really nice. I'm definitely going to be rocking this. If it's like kind of cold but not cold enough to bring a full jacket, you could just bring this and you still look pretty fresh, but that's pretty nice. I actually like Huff stuff because it really fits my body really well and it's just comfortable. So I really like Huff. I've got Huff stuff from Threadbeast before and it's one of my favorite shirts. So um, I'm really excited to rock this. Next item. Okay, let's start with this one first. I like this hat, you know, Regular snapback. I think it's from Black Scale. Got the green under brim. Let's see how I look on this. Let's 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 fix this up. Oh, it looks like it's already on my size. All right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty. All right. I like it. I like it. Snapbacks. You know, dad hats are the cool thing these days. But you know, a good snapback is a little flat brim. Can never hurt nobody. So I like that from uh, Black Scale. Next item, and I think it's the last one. Nope. There's more stuff in there. These are some pants. Laser pants. It's denim, it's dark gray, but in the right lighting, it kind of looks like really military greenish, but it's gray for sure. Is this boot cut? I don't know what boot cut is, but it's not like tapered at the end. It's kind of wide, not bell bottom wide, but <laughs> it's kind of wide. I've never heard of laser before, so I'm interested to see how these fit, if they're comfortable or whatever. They seem pretty stiff, but not like dicky stiff, because dickies, yo, dicky stuff is so stiff. I'm not even going to get into those uh you know those jokes about dickies but um it's not dicky stiff but you know it actually reminds me of levi's i have levi's that look just like this and uh i guess i'll be liking these because i love my levi's who doesn't love levi's real comfortable jeans gotcha that's actually wrangler shout out brett Favre. next item and i think no this is not the last item there's even more stuff this is nice actually what is that, cashmere? It's not cashmere, but you know, it feels really nice. What is this made out of? Can I see what this is made out of? Of course not, black scale. They're so discreet with what their stuff is made out of. Anyways, this is a black scale, baseball style, uniform, baseball tee, or whatever you want to call it, and it's hella soft, hella soft. It feels like cashmere. This is really nice. This is faux cashmere, faux sure. I only wish that 55 was 45, like the Birmingham, is it Birmingham? Birmingham Barons, the Jordan minor league baseball team. That would have been dope, but it would have been a little too on the nose. So I understand why they didn't go with that. I wonder how much this costs. This is easily a $55 item. <laughs> this is the last item. No, there's more in there. I keep getting surprised at how much stuff is in here. Anyways, this is a nice soft tee from Primitive. This is one of those real nice soft shirts like that Huff shirt I was telling you about where I got in another Threadbeast box. So this is already one of my favorite shirts because I love 
soft shirts like this, especially in the summer and the spring. I love these soft shirts. The air just flows through my body so nicely. All right, this is the last item. Let's see what's it. Let's see what it is. Okay, they're socks. They're from the company Feet. They're made in the USA, so that makes sense because you got the red, you got the white, and you got the blue. This is nice. They're really soft. Nice pair of socks. So that was one of the best boxes that I've ever got. But again, guys, if you are interested in getting a Threadbeast box of your own, the link will be in the description box below. I showed you guys all of the prices of each individual items. That definitely outweighs the price of one box from Threadbeast. So again, if you're interested, hit the link in the description box below. Be sure to use my promo code Jeramon50 so you can get yourself some free stuff. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. My name is Jaron. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace. He's been averaging 28 points, 11 rebounds, and over two steals per game. In my opinion, he's been the second best player in the entire NBA playoffs so far. So why does he have a sneaker deal? We all know that before he was selected number one overall in the 2010 NBA draft, Wall signed a five-year, $25 million contract with Reebok, 